Hello, hello, and welcome back to Let's Get Lit. In this episode, we will be discussing Chapter 17 of the Odyssey. Remember that the previous 16 chapters are on YouTube for your listening pleasure. So please catch up before you head into spoiler territory. Alright, everyone ready? Awesome. So, it's the next morning, and Telemachus gets dressed and tells Eumaeus to take Odysseus, who is still disguised, into town and beg for food and drink. Odysseus agrees, and Telemachus goes home. When he gets there, his nurse Eurycleia sees him and runs to him. She embraces him, and the other maids do the same. Penelope then comes in, and she hugs him with tears in her eyes. She asks all about his trip. He tells her he could not just yet, but he has a plan for the suitors. He tells his mom to wash her face and change her dress. She does, and he goes off to the assembly place. He makes it through the suitors and meets up with Mentor, Antiphus, and Halitherses. Then, the man who joined him from Pylos, Theoclymenus, meets him at the assembly place. Paeris is also there. Paeris asks Telemachus to take all of his treasures home, for the love of God. Telemachus tells him to hold on for just a little bit longer. He's not sure if he'll die by the hands of the suitors or not. If he makes that alive, then he'll come back to get all of his treasures. He takes Theoclymenus back to his house, because of the promise he's made to him a few chapters previous. They take a bath get dressed, and have dinner with Penelope. She asks if he got any news of his father. Telemachus then tells Penelope the story of him going to Pylos and Sparta. He then tells Penelope what Menelaus told him about Odysseus being stuck on an island with Calypso, but that he should be returning home soon. Theoclymenus then tells Penelope about the omen he saw on the boat, how Odysseus was back in Ithaca and that he's planning his revenge on the suitors. Penelope says that if this comes true, she will give him riches and respect galore. Meanwhile, the suitors were playing games outside the house. Medon, one of their servants, then tells them it's time to eat dinner. They made their sacrifices and ate. At this point, Odysseus and Eumaeus set off for the town. Eumaeus gives Odysseus a good walking stick, and off they went. Along the way, they run into Menelatheus, and he starts to curse at them. This makes Odysseus very upset. Melanthius then tells the old man that he won't beg for anything useful. He will surely beg for scraps and nothing important like a job. Melanthius then says that if the old man goes to Odysseus's house, he will surely have a chair broken over his head. Melanthius then kicks the old man, who is really Odysseus, in the hip. Odysseus contemplates murdering Melanthius, but he doesn't. Eumaeus then calls to heaven to rebuke him. Eumaeus then says that if Odysseus were to come back, he would surely murder him. Melanthius says that he's sure Odysseus is dead, and that he would see as sure as Apollo killing Telemachus that Odysseus ever gets back. Melanthius then speeds past them and goes to Odysseus' house. Odysseus and Eumaeus make their way to Odysseus' house, and Odysseus compliments his house. Eumaeus asks if he or Odysseus, the old man, should go in first. Odysseus says that Eumaeus should go one first. At that time, Odysseus looks over and sees his old dog Argos, who was so old and had been neglected over the years. Odysseus asks Eumaeus if he was a good dog. Eumaeus says that he was Odysseus's dog and he was the best dog. Argos, the dog, once he realizes who Odysseus is, passes away. Eumaeus goes inside and Telemachus sees him. Telemachus gives Eumaeus a lot of food and drink. Odysseus then goes inside and sits down. Telemachus tells Eumaeus to give some of the food to Odysseus, the old man, but also make him beg a little bit from the suitors. Odysseus thanks Eumaeus and he sets off to begging. Odysseus is gathering information about which suitor was good and which suitor was bad. Athena, however, did not spare a single suitor. All treated him badly. Melanthius tells everyone that the old swineherd brought the old man in here. Antinius then begins to curse at Eumaeus. Eumaeus tells Antinius that though he is of noble birth, his words are evil just like his heart. Telemachus tells Eumaeus that he shouldn't have to respond to Antinius. It only makes him worse and makes the other suitors worse tempered. Telemachus then turns to Antinius and tells him that he is greedy and should give the old man some food. Antinius asks where Telemachus found the courage to speak up. Antinius picks up a stool and makes like he's going to throw it at, Od at Odysseus. 
The other suitors stop him and give Odysseus food. Odysseus then goes up to Aeneas and asks him for something. Odysseus then gives Antinous a speech about his so-called life. Antinous tells him to go away. Odysseus tells Antinous that he looks good but's a horrible man on the inside. Antinous picks up the stool again and actually throws it this time. It hits Odysseus on his right shoulder, but Odysseus does not let it phase him. He then goes to the door and eats his food. Odysseus says that Antinous should die before his wedding day. Antinous says that if the old man say one more word, he'll hang him by his toes. One of the suitors tells Antinous that he should treat the old man better. He could be a god in disguise for all they know. Telemachus was very upset by all of this. News of the beggar made it to Penelope. She and her maids tell of how they hate the suitors, and most of all, Antinous. She then asks Eumaeus to bring the old man to her. He says that if the suitors were to let the old man talk, she would know more about him. Eumaeus tells Penelope all that Odysseus, the old man still disguised, told him the past few nights. Penelope then again asks for the old man. Telemachus then sneezes, and Penelope takes this as a good omen. Penelope then says that if the old man tells her the truth, she will give him good clothes. As for food, everyone will give him what he needs. Odysseus promises to tell her nothing but the truth. Odysseus says that he is scared of the suitors and asks if she can wait until sundown. When Eumaeus goes back to Penelope and she asks why the old man isn't with him, Eumaeus explains and she agrees. Eumaeus goes to Telemachus and tells him that he is going back to take care of the pigs. Telemachus says that Eumaeus needs to bring sacrifices the next morning. Eumaeus agrees, takes a seat, eats, and then leaves. The suitors eat, drink, and start to dance throughout the rest of the evening. This is the end of chapter 17. I hope you guys are enjoying these podcasts, and please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Have a great one, and as always, stay lit.